Hi folks, we are finally ready to kick some ass again. We are going to go back into the fray, back into XCOM. And we'll be playing it on the hardest difficulty level, what you're used to. Bloody, fast, sloppy, it's all gonna be in there. Now I just finished setting stuff up and trying to make a test recording and getting the list of names together and all that jazz. I think I have it pretty much locked down for now. I haven't played this uh, much, played this about an hour. Um, so I haven't really gotten a feel for it yet. It's definitely a bit of a different game than the original. Uh, but it stays very true to it. Uh, I think this is all well and done. Here I changed some things. Um, for instance... I can build my base initially, just the way I want it, which is kind of a nice option. I am the commander of this operation, so I, sh I should be the one, you know, making the plans, uh, especially before it all gets built. Uh, I can build my uh, buildings in a queue, which is handy. Uh, basically, anything that gives me more options is enabled. So I'm training at any time. I'm contemplating this one. Enforces alien containment and general stores limits for live aliens and artifacts recovered from missions. Which means, if I get a good haul and I bring it back home, um, and I don't have the storage space for it, stuff will get lost. Which means uh, having uh, extra storage space is very important, especially once a very big mission pops up and you don't have the space. It will probably result in me forgetting to settle a lot of stuff before going on a mission. Um, so I don't know if it's really that handy. It's just one more thing for me to forget, really. And you know how sloppy I play in these kind of games, so let's not enable that one. Uh, inventory stats, yeah, more information, please. Instant grenades is going to be handy, I think. This basically asks me, do you want bigger explosions? In the category of stupid questions, yeah, I'd, of course I want bigger explosions. That's just a no-brainer. Psy capture, this is pretty cool, I think. Once you have all aliens under mind control, if you ever get to that point, now uh, you win the mission, which is kind of nice. Override line of fire, I love this one. You can just hold control and keep on uh, firing through stuff instead of um, the game saying, there's no line of fire, which was one of the most annoying things in the original part, except for all the bugs. Alien bleeding, yes, they can now finally bleed so we can kill it. Excellent. I think we're ready to go. Um, new battle, blah blah blah. Uh, fresh install. Let's rock. Uh, I do want manual saving, thank you. I have no idea whether or not this particular installation is bug free. It is, however, completely unmodded. This is uh, it's close to open XCOM release is as I can get. Alright, let's pick a spot here. You can see the um, radar range already in the screen. Um, the smaller ring is the small laser, sorry, small laser, small radar. The big one is the large radar. I think we want entirely Europe covered. So that should be something like this, maybe? Which will place it, what is this, Romania? Maybe I can smuggle a little bit with uh, with the small radar, cover the ice and stuff later. Bring it a bit more down. We will lose uh, UFOs over the Atlantic Ocean like this, but I think this will do. Uh, this is our main base. Yes, very creative naming on my part. Uh, let's see, how do I want this? I probably want the hangars on one side and the rest of the base on the other. So I think it's gonna go down something like this. General stores. Um, I think everybody has to go through the access lift to get. Um, the, sorry, the aliens will get in a base when they attack it. Through the access lift or through the hangars. Uh, I actually wanted my living quarters here, I think. Oh well, let's do it over there then. Uh, laboratory, workshop. Um, eventually, the whole base is gonna get filled. This is just for starters. Something like this. This will do. This will do. We got eight guys already who shall be renamed. And uh, let's get, of, get rid of the useless crud. Not really a fan of the heavy cannon. Some people wanted rocket launchers though, so we'll bring that. And the early grenades, I don't think they're too useful. They have a very small blast radius, they don't do a lot of damage. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna bring them. Uh, yes. I 
Let's get rid of the useless crud on our beautiful interceptors. Who we can now launch at any given time. There's no bullshit about, no, we're not gonna launch, we're refueling, let those UFOs just, you know, kill hundreds of people. It's more important to finish tanking first. Um, actually, that's a Dutch word, I think. Tanking. Let's see, we're gonna sell a whole bunch of crap. Because a lot of this stuff I don't need. Pistols are pretty useless. Rifles we need. Heavy cannons I'm gonna get rid of. They're literally too heavy. And let's get rid of the grenades and the smoke grenades. There we go. Now we want some useful stuff like uh, big launches with big missiles. Uh, I want more rifles because we're gonna eventually get uh, like 14 guys in the sky range. We only have 8 at the moment. And a bunch of clips. Let's do 40. Mm, let's do a second locker on rocket launch. You just have one in backup. And I want definitely want some rockets. So there were a lot of guys um, that wanted to be rocket guys. So we'll try and, and make that happen. Uh, proximity grenades are kind of fun. High explosives are definitely kind of fun. Especially if you have people that can actually carry it around. Some stun rods. And I want lots of electro flares. These, these are pretty damn small things. They shouldn't really take up any space. You can just put them under your bed somewhere. Uh, let's see. But they're definitely important. These are the things that you just throw around on night missions and hope that you actually survive. Uh, storage was important. We don't have alien containment. Uh, I want a large radar system. Uh, that'll do for now. And uh, let's not forget, I want, uh, let's say, 15 more soldiers and a bunch of scientists. Oh, one click too many. And uh, let's research something good. Oh yeah, I can now just click the right mouse button and allocate everything at once, which is brilliant. Alright. That brings us to the most important part. Well, actually, I can wait until the first batch arrives or we get the first mission. Oh yeah, this is kind of cool. It's handy. <coughs> Sorry. Still got a bit of a cold, which is the reason this LP was postponed. I wanted to actually do this like a couple of days earlier, but... This is beautiful. It's kind of nice and smooth. It actually has the, the tilt of the planet in the axis. It's nice. Ooh, that's slow. Oh, this is a bit choppy. Look at that. Alright, we got some crud. Let's see if we get the people first or the mission first. Looks like we're gonna get the people first. Yep, there they are. I'm first gonna fill the sky ranger, then gonna do the naming. We'll see uh, where people end up. Some people actually requested to be at the front of the sky ranger, but we'll just uh, for the moment let the chips fall where they may. I am able to allocate people's spot in the Sky Ranger, which is nice. Which means I can put you in a specific location. I actually asked Metal Canyon if I could make four Metal Canyons and put all four of them at the front of the Sky Ranger, but... I quote, that's not what I signed up for. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's just bring everything, really. Why the hell not? Could always equip guys later. Alright. To the most important part of this game, I made a heck of a long list. And actually at this point, I will probably take about 30 seconds to show you that long list. Here you go, I'll probably just edit this in uh, to the video. Because, um... Yeah, these are all the guys. And... The problem is... These are all the guys that have applied on the proper video. I know there's like a dozen people that applied anywhere else on my channel. And I was like, yeah, you're on the list. And then I kind of forgot where I put the list. So I made a new one. But I've made that only from, uh, you know, the recruiting video, which is linked at the bottom of this video. If you want in this Let's Play, if you want a soldier with your name on it, uh, maybe if you already applied and you're not on this list, please let me know um, on the recruiting video, which is linked. Uh, because that's the only place I can actually find your name. We've got, uh, like, hundreds of videos. If you apply anywhere else on the channel, you're going to get lost in the bureaucracy. So let me know if you're on that list. Because uh, if you're on that list, you're going to be in this game. Here we go. First one, traditional tradition is something to uphold. And let's start the, nom uh, the Roman numerals right away. We have Mr. Metal Canyon. Now let's open up my list to the right here. We ha I'm just, this is random order. 
Um, let's start at the top. This is with a Q? Yeah. There you go. Kiko. And th it's gonna be Kiki, I think. And this is Handy Andy, which will be uh, just Andy for me, I think. You wanted to be an assault soldier proficient in melee. Well, for the moment, I'm gonna f let the chips fall where they may because I expect. Uh, uh, oh, wait, this is our Sky Ranger pilot. I expect uh, a lot of deaths and nastiness and, and people dying horribly and fast and quickly and people will have eventually like the no Roman numeral 8 or you know 9 behind the name and at that particular point uh, once we have some decent armor then I will actually let the, um, uh, the stats reflect a little bit what your wishes were Or hopefully by that time you just have a kick-ass soul that you're quite happy with and you just want them to survive. UFO Schnick, is that it? Alright. I'm not making this up. People have actually applied for that name. Uh, five Aces, that's a familiar face from previous Let's Plays. It also pops on the stream occasionally lately. It's kinda cool. Uh, Horst CM, talking about familiar faces. There you go, you wanted um, to be a rocket launcher guy. I think you got one. You got a 60 bravery guy with pretty good strength. Yep, rocket launch is definitely gonna be for you uh, for the time being. We got Vice Commando, who wanted to be bad bravery. Well, you got <laughs> exactly what you needed. You wanted to be the guy that panics all the time and shoots other people in the face. Uh, who's next? Vice Commander we just had. Kusiku said, my sword is yours. I assume that's kind of like samurai-like. Uh, this is another Let's Player. One that I applied for uh, on a soldier ages ago. Like three years ago or something. Vernon Rosh. Nope. That doesn't look anything like Rosh. This looks better. Here's another YouTuber. Philippe one Gorgira. He makes um, roleplay related videos. He's not very active lately, but uh, he's definitely a fun guy. He won with a soldier. You got one. Caramel81. Number one. You want to be at the front of the Sky Ranger. <laughs> I think that can be arranged. Uh, Showroom. Started off as a prisoner. Sounds very Skyrim like. Uh, this is Flores. What was it, 14 or something? Yeah. 14 1. Let's see if we can get this uh, numeral to double, like 14 14. Hello, Phoenix! Another familiar name. Welcome back, dude. And. Old Dragon! Always an honor to have you on board. This is another fellow Let's Player. You should really check this guy out. Make some. Awesome let's plays, and he really takes his time for the videos. It's nice. He really commits to very long let's plays. Uh, Freilis, welcome back. We have still plenty to go. Here is the good captain. We wanted a blaster launcher. Well, that's gonna be a while, uh, my friend. Uh, Skito, also familiar from previous let's plays. And after Skeeter we have the Alchemist. Who like big explosions. We'll see if we can make you the Grenadier guy. You got a good throwing accuracy, so it might actually do that. Alright. That's the first batch of soldiers that we have. Welcome to the club, guys. Um, mm -mm -mm. I think that's it, right? No, it's not. We bought some big guns. Let's use them. And I think I can actually rename my Sky Ranger. Yes, I can. And we have a designated Sky Ranger pilot in this one. Let's hope uh, we don't have to <laughs> use no Roman uh, numerals for you, but um, it might come to that. Uh, I think in the previous Let's Play I got squad wiped twice? Three times? I don't remember. It might get ugly. And painful. And bloody. And nasty. And bad. But we shall make the most of it. We shall try and prevail. 
1.8 million left in the bank, and it's about time we um, we get a mission, I think. There we go, right on cue. This might be a night mission. Night missions scare the shit out of me, and I will try and avoid them like the plague. But it might be a night mission. Uh, it's just at the edge of our radar range. We found him again. I might just plunge him into the ocean for some score, but that won't make us any money. Let's see if we can just shoot him down over land and then play him so we got some alien allies and stuff that we can investigate. I want to be damn sure it's over land. It looks like he's over Ireland at the moment, but we'll wait until he's like at Spain or something. Right here. Fire in the hole! Oh wow, the rate of fire is quite quicker than it used to be. Now we're just gonna leave them to rot there until uh, it's finally daylight again. And then we send in the boys. I did put uh, 14 guys on there, right? Yes. Here we go. On the 5th of January 1999, we're gonna have our first close encounter. Oh yeah, this, uh, this actually might take a while. We have the weight uh, that they can carry on the screen, which I think is absolutely cool. We can really make you guys into like pack mules. Ah, oh, I forgot to bring more rifles, did I? We're gonna do this the old fashioned Russian way then, or? Metal Canyon, I think Horst was the designated rocket guy, right? Yeah, you got good strength, you had a good bravery, I think, as well. Weapon is already loaded, very good. This is heavy enough for you as it is. Um, let's see. Mr. Gojira. Well, I don't really have any more grenades for you. Apparently, somebody's hoarding them all. Who's the other guy without a weapon? Everybody packing? Looks like. And some of these guys are just hoarding all the grenades. That's fine. They probably have the strength to do it. Yeah. We even have a guy with 40 strength. Who was that? Lingzu! Holy shit, man. And you're a girl? <laughs> and you're a girl with 40 strength. Alright. Gentlemen, here we go. Um, I haven't met. Uh, sorry, I haven't messed around with the options here. But I usually like my game to be pretty damn fast. This is all good. Player movement speed. Here we go. Scroll speed, fire speed. How fast is fast? Pretty fast. Metal Cane is already hurt. I like the fire rate, by the way. The, the speed of the firing uh, the bullets at this, this point in time is pretty good. Mm, I think that I can switch on like a notification. That uh, can I do it here? Because I'm expecting people to die with my next move, and I think I can put like a notification on when people die. Like this and this person just died. It will save me from a lot of, you know, who just died kind of conversations. Mm. Battlescape, probably. Death notifications. That's what I was looking for. Uh, we are looking in the direction where there was just some fire. However, we don't see anything. Uh, we have Kiko. I'm not gonna say Kiki, sorry. Uh, he spots two up until up on the roof. They got the high ground on us immediately, which is bad news. You are not the best shot. Well, actually, it's not that bad. You just you just knew. The Crimson Baron! My god, man! Actually, can you move a little bit further? The thing is, if we don't kill these guys, um, we're in trouble because they will chuck a grenade and then kill millions. Oh! We hit him! It's probably not good news. No! Uh, Andy, Andy's been killed. It's not good news because he will turn around and be nasty. Yeah, yeah. 
Wait, they they react several times now. It's not just like one reaction shot from them. They just unload the clip. Yeah, now they're facing our direction. Oh, great. This is going to end horribly in the first mission, isn't it? This guy has got like the best cover in front of him. At least they're out of reaction shots. Let's ignore him for a while. Nice, that was in the face. In the face again. I don't think that guy died though. Uh. No, Smoodle who was the first guy ever to kill an alien is already dead. If I die on the first mission by the way, this is gonna be hilarious. <laughs> and it might actually happen. I think I should start spreading my guys out a bit, but they will die horribly. We just need to thin the field. We've got uh, two left. Can we actually hit this guy? Ooh, ooh, nice, nice. Five aces. Brilliant. I accidentally set you down. Didn't mean to do that. Now you're blocking everybody. This is Horst with the big gun. Uh, we should definitely make you move one more step. Oh, you can, you can take your shot. No, Horst! Immediately die, but you did take care of the problem that we had with uh, that alien having the best cover possible. Wow. Vice Commander 1, you will not survive this mission. Medkits have not been invented in this universe yet. And that didn't do uh, much good for your firing accuracy. Of course, we now completely secured the right flank. Oh, I say that, and this guy just took a shot to the face and lived. There might be millions of aliens on the left flank. We haven't even checked that out yet, but this guy must die. Come on! First two were pretty close, that Tommy. I don't know if they bring grenades on the first mission. This is bloody aliens. I wouldn't be surprised. It's superhuman, after all. Come on, shoot him! It's it's too crowded now. I can't even get out. Not enough time units. I don't even reserve st stuff right now. This is it. Yeah, uh, guys, we haven't even checked out this particular area yet. There might be aliens in the buildings. Uh, still, this guy alive. Good luck. Info <coughs> snick. All right, that's just one guy dead. Now we already have people going berserk. But it could have gone a lot worse. Not enough time units. Oh, you're the one panicking. Yeah. Well, you are bleeding to death. That would kind of <coughs> put me uh, on edge as well. Knowing that you only have one turn to live. Imagine that. Come on, Philip. Roll a little better with your dice, man. Yes. Yes, that's good. I said it so, uh, yeah, there we go. The mission will end as soon as we kill all aliens, and apparently there were just these three or four, what is it? But uh, that was tricky enough already, we lost five good people. We need large rockets, and we have a sergeant. At this point I will cut off the video, I went a little bit overboard on the recording, I went for like a full hour almost, and that's a bit long for the opening video, so I'll cut it up into several parts. You will see the next one tomorrow. I will try and keep the upload schedule like once a day for at least as long as I can muster. But I don't know how much time I have in a couple uh, weeks ahead. Uh, we'll try and figure it out as we go along. For now, I want to thank you very much for watching. I think we have a decent start to the Let's Play. And I'll see you in the next video. That is, if you enjoyed this one. We'll see you later, guys. Bye-bye.